This is MX16, which is based on Debian Stable with the XFCE desktop and includes lots of enhancements that aren't available in Debian Stable. This is a bit of background for those who are unfamiliar with Debian or MX16. Let me say that the advantage of the Debian system is the huge network of developers and testers that has produced a very large library of stable software which is tested constantly and categorized in a very methodical manner into various degrees of stability. The disadvantage of Debian is that the operating system that is issued in disk images by the Debian project itself is rather plain vanilla, rather uninspiring, adheres very strictly to the open source standards, which means it excludes a lot of very useful proprietary utilities and codecs. And often the Debian installer does not work very well. For instance, I've been unable to install Debian on a remote hard drive, even though the installer contains all the functions necessary to do so, and it appears to be doing it. By the time I'm finished, it doesn't work. Also, with the graphical installer for Debian, it's often buggy and often crashed. So I had none of those problems with MX16. The installer worked perfectly. You can install it anywhere you want with no trouble at all. Uh, it's much the same as MX15, which I reviewed at some length. So I'm not going to repeat all of that. If you want to look at my video on MX15, I'll include the link in the notes below this video. But MX16, uh, just came out a day or so ago and has attracted a lot of positive comments and for the most part I think it deserves those positive comments. Now, this is the way it looked by default. I'm not going to tweak the desktop as I did before because I've done that several times and there's no point in reinventing the wheel. But I wanted to show you the default options and I'm going to search for the welcome screen MX welcome as it turns out and here you'll find a category called default look now it's vertical by default you can click on display panel horizontally or display panel vertically. I'm going to try displaying it horizontally. One thing you'll notice is on the vertical panel, the open tasks are shown as icons. Here's simple screen recorder and here's the MX default look. Now when I click on display panel horizontally and then click on apply, the open tasks are given in text rather than just in icons. And I prefer it that way. That's one reason I prefer the horizontal panel. I'm going to do one thing. Oh, here it says Firefox may need to restart. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to do one thing here. I'm going to right click on the panel and go to panel preferences and I'm going to change the size. Down to 27 pixels, that's fairly typical. Otherwise I'm going to leave alone. Now, there are a couple of things that really distinguish MX16. One is this popular apps. Uh, 
entered my password, click on OK. This has a very extensive selection of applications, some of which are in the Debian stable repositories and some of which are not. I've already used this under audio. I've installed Pulse Audio. You can see it's grayed out there. Under screencasting, needs to scroll down. There are three options here OBS Studio, Record My Desktop, and Simple Screen Recorder. I installed Simple Screen Recorder. Quite easy to do, and Ubuntu it requires a PPA. I could go through here at length, but uh, there are just hundreds of options here. Now, if you want to install the multimedia codecs, go to Tools. Here's a codex installer. I've already used this. I assume responsibility, yes. Actually, I've already installed them, so this was unnecessary. Notice that it says it granted permissions without asking for the password again. If you're tired of constantly re-entering your password, this is a wonderful option. Now you notice here there are lots of uh, there are lots of tools associated with proprietary drivers like the Broadcom Manager, the NVIDIA Driver Installer, the AMD slash ATI Driver Installer. Uh, I don't happen to have any of these drivers, but many people use them, and often the installation of the drivers is a problem in some Linux distributions. It's no problem at all in this one. Now here you'll find the package installer again under a different name. right click on the desktop background to go to desktop settings. Uh, there are six backgrounds here, not a lot, but they're very nice ones. I kind of like this one. And of course you can get more. Here's one case where using a third-party derivative of a major Linux distribution is sometimes better than using the distribution itself. You get all of the advantages and none of the disadvantages of the major distribution, and, uh, and you get a lot of enhancements that are simply not available in the major distribution. So that's just a brief look at MX-16. 
I heartily recommend it for those who are interested in Debian and want a little better experience than is available with Debian itself. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.